Hi all, today I am going to discuss about electron synchrotron. A synchrotron uh, is a particle accelerator. It exists to accelerate electrons to extremely high energy and then make them charge direction uh, periodically. Uh, there are two types of synchrotrons, electron synchrotrons and proton synchrotrons. Now, here discuss uh, about the electron synchrotron. The electron synchrotron uh, was to accelerate particle by an RF cavity, uh, very similar to the method in a linear accelerator or a cyclotron. Uh, then, the electron synchrotron consists of consist essentially of a donut shaped vacuum chamber as in the betatron and a laminated ion core covering an annular area above and below the donut portion only. In the annular region where the electrons are moving, the field varies in exactly the same fashion as in the conventional betatron uh, resulting in similar orbit stability. However, the acceleration is provided by RF cavities at one and more locations along the circular trajectory. The cavities maintain uh, standing electromagnetic waves with the electric field directed tangential to the trajectory of the electrons. Uh, then the electrons moves in the orbit with a velocity practically close to C. The RF frequency is uh, chosen in such a manner that the electrons arrive at the RF cavity every time at a given phase of the electromagnetic radiation. This is the uh, picture of electron synchrotron. Uh, for electrons of a given velocity v almost equal to c moving along the central trajectory of radius r0 the angular frequency is omega is equal to v by r0 almost equal to c by r0 which is essentially constant however uh, as in a cyclotron uh, omega is equal to q b by m and e is hence a constant. In order to keep the electrons in this orbit of radius r0, the field b has to increase in proportional to the increasing mass m of the electrons. Uh, this is in the case of cyclotron. Uh, in electron synchrotron, if the increase in uh, B is too slow to catch up with the increase in mass and hence momentum received per revolution, the electrons will move out to a larger radius. Their angular frequency will decrease. They will arrive at the RF cavity a little later uh, than the time required to get the normal acceleration. Consequently, the electrons will receive less energy and consequently B can now catch up with the increase in mass permitting the particle orbit to contract to the central one with the radius R0. On the other hand, if the field increases too rapidly, that is if the increase in more if the increase is more than proportional to the increase in mass the radius decreases and the omega increases the electron will arrive at the rf cavity earlier they are imparted uh, more energy increment per turn and the orbit expands it is thus seen that uh, there is a stable equilibrium orbit and phase about which is electrons will oscillate. In the uh, practical electron synchrotron, the electrons are produced by a heated filament. 
they are pre accelerated by beta tron action to velocities close to c for this initial phase of acceleration the beta tron condition requires that a relatively large number of magnetic flux lines enclose the orbit this field is provided by an iron core of relatively small cross section the core is so designed that at the end of the beta tron phase it is saturates at this point the beta tron action switches over to the singraton action uh, then the brestum brestum strohlen energy radiated in electron volt electron volt per turn is given by delta t is equal to 8.9 into 10 raised to 4 e raised to 4 per r0 uh with e is equal to 6 uh, b electron volt and r0 almost equal to 20 meter delta t is equal to 4.4 mega electron volt per turn the energy supplied per turn should be larger than this loss rate uh that's all